I'll cut through this way. So this is the old horse gravestone in Coltness Estate. This is a uh, favourite mayor, so it's the 11th of February 1910. Griselda was its name. And I think that's part of uh, Lord Bill. I think that's actually Master Bill Haven's wife. She was Lady Grizel. And it says here, favourite mayor. So I don't know if this horse was named after his wife. Um, yeah, we're unsure. That was Master Bill Haven. He died in 1918, 31st of March, during the war. So there's going to be going to be walk around the forest today. So we'll just see what we we come across. Just down from the horse grave, you come across this. Known locally, a lot of people called this Robin Hood's Den. Used to have a little seat inside there, and a marble marble inscription. Um, dates back to um, it's got a late 1700s, I think it was, in one of the books there was a mention of it. I need to look that out and confirm that. Yeah, we're going to cut down here, we're going to go into the next forest down. We wander around there to see what there is. So down on the mill. There's Harley Dog. Harley! 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 Harley loves the water, he's away in there. There's old Wednesday well in the corner. This is uh, St Winifred's Way over at uh, Glenwood. Connects and takes the route up to Wednesday's well. People used to come and tie tokens to the bushes at the top. That's what it said, but at the top we've actually got two yew trees that mark this out. So you can just see the, the grass up in the steer, the grass, the leaves. That's one of the yew trees. So I'm just often wondering whether or not these holy wells that were uh, known as back then, if that was the trees that people used to tie their ribbons and gifts to. And here comes Harley with a stick that's far too big. Down here we've got early sign of the wild ramsons coming up. Sissy's but would. This is our uh, garlic, or onion. I usually put that up in salted butter. There's a lot of it down here. So we're in the Lord Behaven's Wall Garden. These lovely yew trees certainly look very coppiced at the bottom, or pollarded, as they say. Um, very nice ornate creams down here. Um, and this is a couple of the good old redwoods that are in here. And there's another in the corner here. Nice big chunky trees. Lovely big things, I love them. And a couple of yew trees in the back there. And a nice big beach. Uh, Breakneck Bridge just on this. Another banking. And I wish your house is at the top of the hill there. So I'll be heading up there. So. So we're just walking up towards Wisha House. There's a lot of planted yews, so just dead centre there. Nice yew tree. Pretty much a full kind of avenue of them, leading down this path at the rear of the house. I'm um, taking you down to the Green Pipe and um, Breakneck Bridge. Um, so I, it's a, there's a lot of them. There's another one that's been cut Scottish water down a few years ago. 
cut a lot of these trees. Okay, another wee path that wanders off to the side here, that takes you down to Watershaw. And again, it's lined with yew trees, starting with this one here. This one's been cut. Um, you can see the trees still growing out the side. So it's fell down at one point in the past. And you see that deep red colour on the inside. Very deep, deep red. And the white, white outer back. Red colour here, and the white outer back. Plenty of them all the way down to water saw as well. Got across here, here's another good example of it. That's that. Unmarked one. Google the Pekingese dog. Buzz. The fox terriers and fly. 1889. You Polly the grey parrot. Possibly some more in here. Had under years of debris. These old steps around the back of the house. This is as it wishy house area, so nice big sand bombings. Ow. Very precarious place to put a, a giant mansion. I suppose they knew what they were doing. Love it. Imagine those views. So at this point we're at the ice house, I wish your house. And again, marks by another yew tree on the back. And straight behind us here was waterfall. Just uh, just along the water up upstream a wee bit. The water saw is just upstream. A nice wee ice house entrance there. So then here's the orchards and stuff for wash your house, so this way start going out in more of a managed landscape down here as well. Um on our right hand side here is the stables. Now I'm only assuming nothing actually marks on a map as that being the stable. But the forest next to it and the layout of the foundations and the rocks and stuff kind of just look at look like stables to me. So um, the fact that that's stable wood and looks like stables, um, I'm assuming that it's stables. Um, and up on the left here is uh, one of the walled gardens, um, which has grown a bit wild now. Um, so on the right hand side, we'll have a wee quick look at the stables here that run down. And we'll have a look at the left hand side. So here yeah, a lot of small ouch. A lot of small rectangles situated through here. All the way down. Um just kinda backs off, you've got stable wood at the back here, so and on the left of the path, or the right, depending on where you come in to be fair. We come in from the Ice house end, so this is where the wall garden was. And I'll post a wee picture um, 
but just on the left hand side there, there's just where that tree is up the top. Huge, uh, huge greenhouse, huge greenhouse up there. And you can see these stairs that go with it, and a huge, uh, huge greenhouse would have been somewhere up here. So the steps are steps are still on show. It'll be interesting to see if we can find place the actual glass house. It was pretty enormous. And I've got a feeling it was just straight ahead of us there. And you can see another bunch of steps here. And the uh, top here situated at the left of it. There's another line of line of yew trees. That leads you down into the uh, into the walled garden area. So you've got the line of your trees that come down here. And you see the big turrets in the, in the top of the post here. I think the glass house was just here. Oh, in fact, it's next to the inside of the wall, so locate the wall. Maybe locate the glass house. I need to go down here and catch up with the other kiddos. And you can see the rear wall there. The Let's see if I can zoom in here. Oh, that much. So I just there, dead centre. Sorry about that. That is too wide. And it goes about 1.0 there. Find it eventually. 0.9, 0.1. There we go. A bit of paint. I'm going to go down and catch up with the others. We'll cross round in front of the house and along Glenwood. Um, do back home. But yeah, just a wee quick walk round. I thought we'd down Wisher House, have a wee wander. Um, see what's around. This is a managed sort of, this to me is just screams nature reserve to me to be fair. Lovely big managed trees, managed the old fields and stuff like that. These would have all been looked after back in the day. Plantations of oak, sycamore, chestnut, uh, all around this area. There's a couple of sweet chestnuts around the side. This was Stablewood. This is I reckon the horses gonna roamed around. <laughs> feet up, feet up. As we've kind of cut down through Coltness Forest, just at the top of, or just off the back of North Triborough. We cut through the field, through the entrance in North Triborough uh, entrance, down past the mill. We went to see the walled garden, a wee section down there. Played on a rope swing, didn't we? Yeah. How was it? Good. Good? So much fun. So much fun. Yeah, and I want to do it again. Yeah, we'll do it again another day. And then we crossed over the river, went up to Wisher House. We had a look around Wisher House Gardens, looked at the stables, looked at the house itself. Um, we had a look at the, the walled garden on the Wisher House. Um, and we had a wee wander around. And we went across the big... Um, the big uh, bridge, yeah. Yeah, yeah down, the, down the bottom there. So, yep, we're just going to finish off here. And that is us done. Yeah, Go ahead and we'll get a wee cup of tea. And we'll follow another one. And, and it's a few, a few
Yeah, we'll film another one another day. All right, mm -hmm. high five. Boom.